Are you curious about Apple's new savings account and are wondering whether or not it's worth it? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Apple Card Savings and what it has to offer. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tool reviews like this one. After originally announcing in fall 2022 that it would be launching a savings account, Apple Card Savings officially debuted in April 2023 to some fanfare. But does it really live up to the hype? Let's take a look at the account, the benefits, and what else you need to know about it. The first thing to know about Apple Card Savings is that you will need to be an Apple Card customer in order to have access. As the name seems to imply, Apple Card Savings is a feature that is exclusive to Apple Card customers. So if that's not you and you don't want to get the card, I guess you can shut off this video now, but I'd appreciate it if you stick around for the algorithm. What's more, you'll need to make sure that your iPhone is up to date before opening an account, as you'll apparently need to be running iOS 16.4 or newer. Oddly, the option to open an Apple Card Savings account is somewhat buried at the moment. First, you'll need to go to your Apple Card and Wallet, tap the three dot icon, select Daily Cash, and then you should see the option to set up savings. Be aware that you'll need to confirm your full social security number as part of the process, as well as accept the account terms. By the way, Apple Card Savings funds are held with Goldman Sachs and, in turn, are FDIC insured up to $250,000 per depositor. Next, once you do open your savings account, you'll be able to manage it and wallet under the Apple Card interface. After your account is set up, you'll see a widget for it in the Apple Card page and wallet. Tapping this option will allow you to see a graph of your balance over time, as well as see recent savings transactions. Here is also where you can make withdrawals from or deposits to your account. This includes instant transfers to or from your Apple Cash account, or regular speed transfers to or from a linked external banking account. That said, I did notice that Apple begins paying interest on funds the day that the deposit is initiated, even though the transaction won't fully settle until up to 5 days later. By the way, you can also link additional accounts by going to the Savings page, tapping the three dot icon, selecting Account Details, and scrolling down to Bank Accounts. Finally, you can also opt into notifications to receive alerts when your APY is updated and or when interest payments are deposited into your account. By default, all of your earned Apple Card daily cash will be automatically deposited into your Apple Card savings, although you can add other funds as well. One of the stated reasons why Apple created a savings account was to give Apple Card customers a place to store their daily cash that they earn from Apple Card purchases. As a refresher, the Apple Card earns 2% daily cash on purchases made using the card via Apple Pay, as well as 3% daily cash on purchases from Apple and select brands including Uber slash Uber Eats, Walgreens slash Dwayne Reed, Exxon slash Mobile, Nike, Panera, T-Mobile, and Ace. Those earnings will be deposited directly to your Apple Card savings once you open an account, but if for some reason you wish to stop that, you can go to your daily cash page and revert to sending your earnings to Apple Cash instead. While interest rates are always changing, for now at least, Apple Card Savings has one of the higher APYs that you can find. At the time of its launch and at the time that I'm shooting this video, Apple Card Savings is offering customers 4.15% APY on funds. For contact, that's a bit higher than other options such as Discover or Ally, and funny enough, it's also 25 basis points higher than Marcus, which is another Goldman Sachs savings account. While you may find higher rates somewhere, this is still quite solid by today's standards and is infinitely more than what you're likely to get from big banks. Moreover, unlike some offerings, earning this 4.15% APY does not require you to set up direct deposit, retain a certain balance, make a certain number of purchases per month, or any other such nonsense that many banks and fintechs employ. For that reason alone, I'm giving the APY on Apple Card Savings a thumbs up for now. Finally, before we get to my conclusion, I do want to pitch one idea that I think Apple Card Savings should adopt. Going hand in hand with the Apple Card's unique daily cash cash back feature, wouldn't it be cool if Apple Card Savings paid out daily interest as well? I sure happen to think so. In fact, this is something that Current already does with its savings pods. On that note, with Current recently basically wrecking their savings pod feature by requiring direct deposit to earn anything resembling a respectable APY, the daily interest idea is ripe for Apple to pick. So Apple, please feel free to implement this feature in the near future, and I won't even ask for a free MacBook in exchange. Overall, if you already have an Apple Card, then I think that opening the savings account is a solid idea and an easy way to save. However, if you're not already an Apple Card customer, then I'm not sure that this moves the needle all that much. With a fairly impressive APY and a clever premise that automatically sets your earned cash back aside, I think Apple Card Savings is a strong addition to the Apple Card product. In fact, I don't see a reason why most cardholders wouldn't want to at least give it a try. At the same time, the account is very basic at the moment, and even seemingly lacks the ability to arrange for recurring deposits from external accounts. But hopefully such features could be added over time. As for the elephant in the room, seeing as the Apple Card is not highly regarded by many credit card enthusiasts, I don't really see savings changing their minds. Ultimately, if you were on the 
fence about the card already, then perhaps the addition of this high yield savings account is enough to pull you over, but I certainly don't think it's a game changer. In any case, I'm personally happy to have an Apple Card savings account and look forward to seeing how it and the Apple Card continue to evolve going forward. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what Apple Card Savings is all about, but for much more on the account, I'll have a link to my full written review in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.